Today, we're embarking on an exciting quest to uncover one of the ocean's tiniest secrets, the elusive mud dragon, also known as Kynorynx. These tiny creatures are notoriously hard to find, but will guide you step by step through the bubble and blot method, a simple yet effective way to find these animals. It may take us a couple tries, but stay with us till the end to see if we can find one of these elusive dragons. Hey y'all, today we're back with another set of marine invertebrate collection techniques. Today we're going to be looking for the phylum Kynorynca, otherwise known as the mud dragons. The things you'll need for this are a bucket of marine mud, an empty bucket, a squeezy bottle filled with seawater, hopefully from the same area where you collected the mud, a petri dish, and most importantly, a single piece of paper. You'll also need a microscope to find these tiny animals. First, to start off our quest, we need to find some marine mud. We kayaked offshore into this marshy habitat to find ours. We scooped the top couple of inches of mud into our bucket before paddling back to start our bubble and blot extraction. To start, I'm going to take my one bucket filled with marine mud and I'm going to stick my hand in and mix it around. If I feel any mud at the bottom, I want it fully homogenized in this seawater. Once I got it nice and mixed and my hand nice and dirty, I'm going to take the bucket and I'm going to dump it into this one. White pants was clearly a bad choice. We're gonna do it again. And you wanna do this a couple of times. What you're doing here is one, shaking up the organisms that are within the top few layers of the sediment and also creating a lot of bubbles. Because their cuticle is hydrophobic, they're gonna to stick to those bubbles. Might need a shower after this one. Then I'm going to take my piece of paper and quickly I'm going to rest it on top of the bubbles on the surface of the water. Take my paper up. Fold it slightly and angle it into a petri dish. And I'm gonna rinse off everything that I can into this petri dish. Hopefully, a little mud dragons have stuck to the bubbles and they'll be in here. So now that we've done our extraction, we're back at the microscope. So maybe bubble and blot it a couple of times, you should have a few petri dishes. We're going to be looking for kynorynx in our sample. One of the key things about looking for kynorynx is that you want to look at the bottom of the dish because there's going to be a lot of detritus that they could be crawling around in. But also you want to look at that surface layer because of their hydrophobic cuticle, they'll be floating up at the top. Kynorynx are related to a large group of organisms that includes insects and nematodes. One of the unique things about kynorynx is that they have a ring of scalids around their introvert. The introvert is sort of like an aversible mouth that allows them to crawl in sediment. Don't be discouraged if you can't find kynorynx. Kynorynx, because they don't have a pelagic or free-swimming larval stage, often have a really patchy distribution. 
experts will tell you that even if you do the perfect bubble and blot and find the perfect marine mud, you're often not gonna find kinerings. So don't be discouraged in the future when you're looking for these guys, but if you're lucky enough to find one, you're in for a real treat. Unfortunately on this trip, we didn't find any kinerings. But a couple months later, we tried again. This time alongside a kinerink expert, Kellen Hoffman. He's gonna walk us through the bubble and blot method one more time as we try again to find these elusive animals. I've got here, I've got some sediment and some seawater. You wanna make sure you stir it up really good. Suspend all of that sediment. And then very quickly pour it into your second empty bucket. And you're gonna pour it back and forth about five to 10 times. This is a very messy process. So be in a place where you can clean up or you don't care that it gets dirty. You're then going to take a clean, dry sheet of paper some seawater, and any container. Take your paper and blot it over the bubbles gently. Place the paper over the container. Kind of make a little taco or funnel shape. And then use your seawater to wash anything on the paper into the container. Only use a sheet of paper one time. There's our extracted sample. Let's go see what's in it. And then we take our sample back to the scope and look for mud dragons. After many attempts, bubble and blotting, finally, we find one. This is a kinerink, also known as a mud dragon. Their body is composed of 11 pleat covered segments and a head region with an reversible proboscis. The proboscis on these guys is really cool because it's covered in these dramatic spines called scalids. It wasn't easy tracking down a mud dragon, but that difficult quest to find them makes me feel that they lived up to their fantasy-esque name. <laughs>